Um, well, there's uh, uh, so <clears throat> I'm going to preface this a little bit by saying you guys have uh, you guys know about that new uh, uh, Justice League game com coming out, right? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's, it's it's already out, and JJ has been playing it. Can what? you talk about this, JJ? Yeah, oh, man. I've been playing uh, Justice League. Co Cosmic Chaos, I think its full title is. Um, it is a children's game. Obviously, it's by. And you uh, are a children, and I am a ch and I I am children. Uh, uh, first ch first children, JJ Holy. <laughs> um, this is a way better game than it has any like reason to be. Really? I am. I am so having, bizarre. I am having an absolute fucking blast with this game, wow. um, uh, and it's not because the gameplay is anything. What you see is mostly what you get here. It is like an isometric uh, brawler in like by way of. It's almost like Diablo without the numbers. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> You just sort of kids don't know numbers. Which yeah, you just sort of understand. point. Yeah, but except there is like an XP system in okay. place. Whoa, and... hold on. Was that that was Batman wearing a swimsuit? That's yeah. Oh, awesome. it has. The... Wait, let's find that. Keep talking. The, the... Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, this is a game that I've. It, it's I am stuck arounding, sticking around with it because the writing in it is insanely good. Like it, 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 it's it, it's having fun with the universe in a way that like with like a jovial respect for it. Like at one point you have to go undercover and it goes into a stealth segment, mm -hmm. which is really weird mm -hmm. to say. But like you, it, Batman has like costumes ready for everyone, and so when you come out, it's like Wonder Woman in her like when she was like being the spokesperson for a taco joint in the comics, like deep cut bullshit. Um, and and, and Batman is dresses up as Matches Malone, which like <laughs> um, like if you've never if you've ne if you don't read the DC comics, like that is like a super obscure like '90s DC comic thing where Batman had an underworld alternate personality called Matches Malone, which is the identity of a recently killed like mob guy. It's the insane thing. And it's just in here. Here's uh, this one. Uh, and Taylor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guessed. Yeah. Guess who didn't reply? Yeah. Oh, right. Well, we have to talk about it here. This is just strictly a Zorro reference. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So, Hello. They're, they're yeah. showing that movie about a guy in a mask and a black hat who uses a sword. Listen, yeah, maybe there's, Batman a, there's multiple knows. options. <laughs> yeah. Except, of teeth. <laughs> except, except Batman's pet family was killed after a showing of Zorro. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So, there you go. God, <laughs> yeah. Um, w w I this game like within the first five minutes has a joke that made me laugh <laughs> like audibly out loud, and it has Mixiel Pitalik. Um, uh, it's a <laughs> don't laugh at that name. It's no, very I gotta I gotta show this. <laughs> this is really I didn't. Re I'm like this, there's no way this is in the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh my god! Mick, Mixiel Pitalik is making you go through some crazy shit to like get into the Hall of uh, Hall of Justice, which he's renamed the Hall of Doofuses, and to get your uh, badges, you have to go get your badges, uh, and this is what they come back as the just, bad uh... Barf Man. <laughs> yeah, Wonder Barf Man, Worm. Wonder Worm. Um, yeah, it's it's super <laughs> funny, and it like it does deep cut stuff like mm. as a comic book fan they're having some real fun with it i'll get into some more of that stuff later um but i forget where i was oh mixio pitalik is um uh like asks them what's your favorite snack and everyone knows that this is just he's going to turn us into our favorite snack so everyone shuts up except superman blurts out pretzels so he turns <laughs> them all into pretzels <laughs> And uh, they all like it's like Ghostbusters where they turn to him and it's like, wh why did you think pretzels? And he's like, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Pretzels are my kryptonite. And then Batman snaps back like kryptonite is your kryptonite. And it made me 
it so killed me. Stupid. It's so dumb, but it absolutely oh, killed no. me. It's this stupid. line is so good. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. He is so yeah. And and like Booster Gold is a dipshit in this. He just want he just like as he should be. All he's a guy from the future who wants to be a famous superhero. So here he is. And Superman does not give a shit about him at all. But absolutely loves Skeets, his little robot companion. <laughs> um, What's up? And then there's this line, which is great. Politicians yeah. can't trust who'd have guessed. And that's a that is a reoccurring theme. This thing is constantly taking down politics. Uh because because okay, so the game starts off with uh an obscure character, uh Snapper Carr, uh, <laughs> becoming a mayor of uh, Happy Harbor, and he gets overthrown by Mixio Pitalik and Starro. Uh, so now Mixio Pitalik is the um, mayor of Happy Harbor, causing terror mm -hmm. to like. But he's also turning everybody against the Justice League, which is really funny to keep playing it, and everyone just kind of getting irritated with to Justice League's bullshit as they're trying to help. Like, he sends them off into the sewers to, like, all right, I'll tell you who your friend is, but you need to, like, clean up the sewers as part of my political campaign. And the act of them cleaning the sewers actually floods everyone's houses. Oh, my everyone, God. So, like, everyone's just, like, it's like, oh, oh, hey, Justice <laughs> jerks, or whatever. Like, nobody wants anything to do with them anymore except for, like, some super fans and stuff. And, um... The characterizations of the three, because you only play as Wonder Woman, Superman, mm -hmm. and Batman. The other characters are are support characters. Um, so you have support characters of Cyborg, um, Green Lantern. Green Lantern, who is voiced by uh, Kratos, by the way. Um, nice. Uh, uh, the Flash and Aquaman, and they're heroes that have been abducted by Starro, and you have to save them, and after you save them... Uh, they become part of like a, an, an assist. You push uh, a button on your controller and it calls in the assist to help you. Hmm. Um, and you can switch through the characters on a whim. Each one has their own uh, advantage and disadvantage. And you saw like it has that sort of games as a service skill tree thing. Like you go to the pause menu and you're like, you've got a cursor moving around. Mm -hmm. You're adding equipment and things, but because it's a kid's game, it's like zero. It's like that, that you don't have to, you're not being screwed on anything. Um, but um so th cool. but you play as the main three characters of batman superman and wonder woman and they all like act like how you kind of like an amalgamation of these characters like um superman is like a boy scout who's like a goody goody who just kind of tells like lame jokes and it irritates batman and wonder woman loves it kind of thing um wonder woman doing her wonder woman thing talking about like you know uh amazons and everything and like she mm -hmm. doesn't call she, and everyone calls each other appropriately like she doesn't call superman superman or clark she calls him cal which is what wonder woman would do and everyone calls mm. batman batman usually even though they all know he's bruce wayne um that's just because that's just and you can kind of switch on the on the fly between oh, the characters. absolutely it's just a button push and you're a new character nice. um and she, and, it, and it also it like helps manage like um health stuff too so like if your health's getting low switch to another one and they still stay in the fight but you know is this uh is there a co-op in this game oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah okay so uh you're an adult you yes. some, some people do call you a, a man child is this um, which is a good a good yeah. uh, a cross section <laughs> do you think that this is good for <clears throat> kids yeah uh a, a good thing that i didn't expect from this game is that it has four difficulty levels too oh wow it does have an easy, a medium, a hard, and an extra hard. Um, so uh, that that's really cool. And the combat right. is mostly just like simple. But it's like you know, may, may, mash this button, push this button for this special, push this button for this special, and and push this button to heal. And and that's basically your combat. Um, and it has an. Uh, and, and it's really easy for kids to understand. It always has a marker on the screen to lead mm. you. Um, it, it is an open world game. Uh, so when you're on the overworld map, 
uh, you kind of get free roam, so you can uh, you can you can actually drive vehicles. You can like drive the Batmobile or whatever. Cool. But also, each three character has their own traversal method. As Superman, you can fly. As Batman, you can glide. And as Wonder Woman, you can use her um, uh, uh, lasso of truth to like spider, literally Spider Man swing your way through the world through the world, which is mm -hmm. kind of cool. It like works really well. It feels as good as swinging as Spider Man in some instances. Um, and you can go anywhere on the map, but they actually do a good job. Like when you enter an area, it will give you like what area of the uh, map you're in and it will tell you what level you should be. So hmm. like, and it's like, oh, I'm level 10 and I am entering like the woodland area, which is asking for like you to be like level like 25 or whatever. So it's like, I should maybe like back away for a minute. I'm clearly not supposed to be here yet. And no story elements are happening over here. There's stuff hidden everywhere. You collect comic books to unlock costumes, and the costumes are all, like... I just unlocked Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns costume oh, wow. from Batman. Like, again, this is a... And it's all torn kids. up. Yeah, again, it's all yeah, torn up kids. and everything. Yeah. It's Classic for the kids' content. Yeah, it's... It, it's so weird because, like, it's clearly, like, the people that made this, or especially wrote this, like, really get comic books and really understand the overall yeah, yeah, history yeah. of every single one of these main characters that's cool um it's 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 a fascinating game i think it's done by the it's 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 published by the same people that did that peppa pig game that i think you reviewed dally uh, uh, you'll hear about that yeah uh, embargo lifts at uh no but like Pacific but there was that time. other one there was that previous oh, one i from, didn't like, last review year. that one i actually bought that one. Oh, that's right you did just buy oh, that one. My God. um but yeah, it's yeah, man. I don't. I. It's ridiculous that this is going to be the best DC game of the year, um, <laughs> uh, and it's genuinely an enjoyable experience. And especially if you just like comic book stuff, it's doing a lot of fun comic book stuff. The combat is mediocre and on its best day, um, but just the sort. Of, and every time, like I boot up the game, it's like there's something kind of new that happens like i said i just got a, there's like a stealth segment and um and, and like like a, a detective segment where i was like you know finding clues to figure out who tried to rob this movie producer uh so, so are you playing it despite the combat or is it slightly better than um it's slightly better than that but the combat's okay but the combat's still it, it's 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 a is it a slog like it, it is know, it's kind of, it, yeah, it can, be. it can be, especially when you're like matched levels with the area you're in. Mm -hmm. It's just like you're just constantly pushing the same button over and over again, and you just you're just in enemy closets all the time. Um, yeah. But like, it, it, it's not broken at least. Like the combat sure. at least works, and uh, there, there's there is like there actually is more to it than just brainlessness. Like there are like oh there are element stuff like i have attacks that do electricity damage that can break the shield of these guys in one hit so and and different like things you can attach to heroes that mm -hmm. change certain stats and stuff like there's a weird complexity level in there that you get to play with for again a children's you. game Sweet. um but yeah i i'm I, I genuinely recommend it if, if, if you're a comic book fan overall like if 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 you have like a, a love and appreciation for the, I, I haven't played a DC game in maybe ever. I, like even the Arkham games take everything a little too uh, seriously and doesn't really have fun. Yeah. It doesn't really have fun with the concept of being Batman too much. It's like most of the time it's you stuck in detective mode and punching dudes. Like this one actually sort of like, and the character, like I said, the characterizations are fun. Like Bruce Wayne is a rich douchebag and they constantly dig at him for that like i think i posted a picture where it's like oh gee the the yeah. bro the brooding billionaire who likes to hang out on uh uh gargoyles all day <laughs> doesn't like hanging out in the suburbs go yeah. figure uh and, and and like batman doing his shitty batman stuff where he's got like hidden trackers on everyone and it's like wait tracking devices like when you're trying to find <laughs> aquaman and he's like yeah i put tracking devices on all of the justice league and wonder woman's like okay yeah. we're gonna talk about this later <laughs> but we got, like and that's just like it, it it understands batman at like a core level and has fun Sweet. with the idea of batman yeah highly recommend it i think this nice. is actually a really really charming fun game um yeah. Wait, before we move on. Oh, also, 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 I do want. Also, I do want to say that I'm playing it on the Switch, and 
it's better now but initially the performance was not great oh really um when i first booted it up even the cut scenes were lagging um but post launch now yeah post launch now <laughs> every everything seems to be working better it doesn't it looks like there's like a filter over the game that kind of gives it like a vaseline sheen to it like it's trying to hide very the... normal for the switch yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's, it, that's just yeah. the switch special it's just, the switch <laughs> special. It's just you wouldn't expect it out of a game yeah. so like lo-fi Right, um, but right. also fully voice acted. Ex- expect yeah. expect more games that appear lo-fi to have that sheen. Yeah, yeah. As <laughs> time goes on, expect Breath of the Wild two to have that sheen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, and again, like I said, fully voice acted, and it's got some good. Like originally, Gilbert Gottfried was supposed to be Mixio Pitalik because he's that character and like Aww. the Lego stuff and mm-hmm. and things. Did something but he happened to away. him. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, the big something. <laughs> yeah. So they replaced him with the uh voice mm. actor uh for that pl- that voice is Master Shake and Aqua Teen. That's um, awesome. nice. That's and, and, awesome. and, do- <laughs> and doing and doing the exact same voice, like he only has the one voice. So it really is just Master Shake being Master Shake to the Justice <laughs> League, and it's great. 